they deleted it on YouTube. <laughs> but that brother, you got the channel now. Okay. It's bull. You're right. Now, in the which is God, it lets you know exactly who they're worshiping with references and the order of their worships. Hmm, let's see. Let's see. Isn't this something? There's a little dialogue between Zeus, Athens, and Hermes, which are Greek gods and goddesses. And the brother have it marked. It says, Athens says, and goddesses, if you please, we've been declared redundant wherever Yahweh is in charge. What? But Yahweh has a wife himself. What's happened to Asterisk? Divorce and oblivion? To be fair, I think it is the priesthood to blame more than Yahweh himself, you see. Yahweh is the, is the husband of Asterisk, which is a Babylonian female deity. And they read this in their book. It's, a, it's, it's like a handbook for witches. They worship Yahweh. The YHWH is, believe it or not, the fallen one, Satan himself. There he is. <laughs> they put Yahweh. It shows you that the word El, El Danai, all these different names they give you is Satan. There's more. I don't want to give it all away tonight. In the book, they learn about Tammuz. Give me, give me Ezekiel 6 and 14. 8 and 14. Why would they learn about Tammuz in a witchcraft book? Eight and 14. Why would they learn about Tammuz in a witchcraft book? Tammuz is the virgin son of Ceramuses of ancient Babylon. The incarnate of Nimrod. So they've changed Christ's name. They've, they've used Christ's name, but they're really worshiping the Babylonian Tammuz that the witches worship. worship. You're under a spell in Christianity. You're under a spell in religion. This show you the witches, true gods. There's only one God of all gods. His name is Ahaya Ashar Ahaya is his name. Get Ezekiel 8 and 14. Read it. Ezekiel 8 and 14. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. They, they sat women Weeping for Tammuz, that's your 40 days of Lent. Okay, under the ancient Babylonian rituals, worshiping this guy here and Tammuz, women had to cry and weep for 40 days of Lent. They do that now under the Roman Catholic Church, worshiping the Babylonian Tammuz. There's all sorcery and witchcraft. Also, Ramadan and Islam is Say it. Go ahead, say it. Also in, in Islam, they add on to that in Islam, they worship, they, uh, they fast for 40 days or 40 nights. This under the, under the, 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 the guise of uh, Ramadan, when it's really the, the same thing as this, worshiping the Tammuz for 40 days and 40 nights. Same thing under Islam, it's the same guy. So, so I wonder why in the Christian society, when we put up things against Islam, they started uh, uh, flagging our page. Really, Islam and Christianity are in it together, mm -hmm. under Satan. To keep the children of Israel in darkness. Who frequent Islam and Christianity more than us? Here. Us. Okay. It wasn't the Arabs that made Islam great. They had to go make a conquest into Africa and convert us before it became great. So that we can get in their armies and fight in the Crusades. So all these religions are aimed at us to bring us under, under Satan. 
There's more. Mm. There's so much. In, in the witch's guide, some of God's recipes is one chapter. Okay. It says here, believe it or not, you are following a good Christian tra tradition here. In France, similar cakes called penis, which is penises, were carried in solemn procession to church at Easter and Corpus Christi to be blessed by the priest. Why? Because in ancient Egypt and in ancient Babylon, they, they followed the follics. Okay? What you think the Washington Monument is? It's a man's male organ. Huh? The Washington Monument, that, that long thing sticking out of the ground, that's a male penis. Oh, my, oh wow. Yes. That's what they worship. All right? It says here, in the town of St. Uh, Sherrington Maritime, Palm Sunday was known as Lafitte Dis Penis. Because they, what do witches, witches worship? The same thing they worship in the Christian churches. Male organs. Okay, they worship that in ancient Babylon. They call it nature. They deal with all types of freakisms and orgies and all that mess up in, in witchcraft. All right? Look at this. Somebody tell me what's going on here. Oh. You would see some of these images. Some of these images you would probably. Look at this mess. Pedophilia. Oh. See, and, and, and here it is. Y'all might think that this is a little crass, but this is a mess you'll see up in the Catholic Church all day long. All day. Yeah. Grown yeah. people playing with naked babies. Yeah. This is in the book, The Witch's Guide. You're going to find that this whole society.